Hi. Hi. Right, welcome, everybody. Today's video, we are over here in Ayutthaya. We're at Wat Panom Yong. This is uh, an older temple. It was uh, one of those that was built under the reign of King Narai. So probably like in the uh, 16, like 1656 or so to uh, 1680, somewhere in between there. So this is an old temple and it was destroyed during the fighting with the Burmese, like pretty much everything in Ayutthaya. But it was, uh, it was abandoned after it was destroyed by the Burmese and then it was renovated again under the reign of King Rama V, King Chulalongkorn. So it's a pretty cool old temple. So it'll have some influences of the Bangkok era because it was renovated during the Bangkok era by Rama V. And it'll also have some of the styling of the uh, Ayutthaya period. So we're gonna go and we're gonna look around. It's a, not a big temple, but it's uh, pretty cool. It has a reclining Buddha that's kind of in one uh, style from like the Utang era. So uh, let's go take a look and uh, let's So this is the main part of the temple complex. And it is an active temple, so there are monks. So you can see the, uh, the hall over there. That's like a general purpose hall where everybody will come over for uh, funerals and stuff like that. And then he has some of uh, the little chetties. And then uh, over here has a hall for like the donations and stuff. And where we're gonna go is into this hall over here. This is the, the old historic Ayutthaya hall. And then over there is the crematorium. And then way over there is the little vihara that has the reclining Buddha. And we'll see it after we look at this hall. And then it has like a statue of like the traveling monk and stuff like that. So right in the front right here, this is the outer wall around the ordination hall. And you can see it has a Buddha image here. It has these uh, pink Buddhas that are around. Now the condition of this building is fantastic. It's in really nice shape. But you know, it was uh, restored, you know, around the 1890s or so by King Chulalongkorn. So all of this was all abandoned and then they fixed it up and now it's uh, back in use. So the monks came back in and took up residence. So you can see here, there's the little ordination halls. Now this was actually, uh, the name of this temple comes from, uh, or it means like the temple of the wet nurse and uh, the Praya Yong comes from the wet nurse's name of King Narai. And it has three doors, so this would have actually been like a, the royal would have came over here. So this would have been the entrance for the king. And then we see here it has three doors across the front. And you can see the doors that come in here. You can see the detail work that they put in here. So these are all hand painted. Now this temple here actually is still being uh, taken care of by the family of uh, the young, the wet nurse. And you can see all the murals inside. It's kind of a little bit echoey. It has two windows on each side. A lot of these old temples like this are kind of echoey on the inside. Yeah, this is beautiful. Look at all these murals. So these are Bangkok style murals. And they're all pretty new. They're not the old faded out ones. So probably when this temple was built would have been the Ayutthaya style. And King Narai was middle Ayutthaya period. And this is really, really a nice place. There's the main Buddha, and you can see all the murals around. And the roof is, most of them are red. This is kind of a teal color, which is really nice. I mean, it's a nice contrast compared to the red. You normally see the red and the white. And then uh, the shutters, these big heavy wooden, wooden shutters, they're painted a little bit different than what you normally see on the outside. Yeah, this is really nice. And you see here, this is uh, the flooding of the earth scene. So you can see she's wringing out the hair and the water's flooding the earth. The goddess of the earth with the Buddha over. So it goes back to the old story that Buddha was uh, being tempted by the devil and she flooded the earth to help him. And she rang out the water out of her hair. 
And you can see these, these are quite nice. And then these uh, doors are just these heavy wooden doors that are like two inches thick. Okay, so let's go over there and let's look at the, uh, the reclining Buddha right after we leave here. So the monks will come here and they'll uh, do their ceremony and people will come up here also and pray and make merit. And uh, it has a little mother of pearl around that little shrine there in the front. Yeah, this is nice. So you can see all the detail here in this. So that's the prayer wheel, the wheel of law. They have birds and trees, and flowers, all the people doing all this stuff. Guy over here with a couple swords. And then some of the buildings and stuff. We got a ship up here and the sea creatures. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, this is all hand painted. So a guy will come in here and uh, just paint. And generally when they paint, they start like on one side. So the guy will just paint the whole image. He'll just start right here and he'll just work from like right to left. Just paint the whole thing from top to bottom. Or they'll have two guys. One guy will do the top and one guy will do the bottom. Pretty amazing. There's some, uh, some real talent in the art. This is a nice look at this building. So you can see the, uh, the little Buddha up there on the gable. And then in the Ayutthaya style here, it has the little low porch. And then it's clearly shaped like it's bowed in the middle. Here's the Sema stones, the little Bua Simas. And these always surround the ordination hall. There'll be eight of them around the front. And then they always bury one underneath the main uh, the main, main Buddha inside and you can see how it's clearly bowed like a like a ship and there's like a story behind that where it was like uh, I don't know it goes into the Chinese junks the Chinese boats that traded with Ayutthaya and then you can see some more of those little stones out here yeah this hall is really in fantastic shape it's worth a look it's worth 10-15 uh, minutes of your time to come over here and see it if you're kind of on the northwest side of the island and then you can see how it has the, the wall around it. And it has, it looks like some ashes of people that have been cremated at this temple. And then uh, you can see the, uh, the roof tiles, everything up there. Really a nice temple. So you have this little statue here with the buffalo and the guy. Kind of looks a little bit like the golden Buddha that's over there near uh, Pat Kret. But uh, here is the standing Buddha with the Naga and everything around it. And then it has another one of like the, uh, like the little giant that's over here. Looks like it's kind of on the uh, base of an old temple. And they have some more of the little buildings over there. That one there looks like it's being renovated right now. And you can see here's that, that mythical monster that you see in some of the Thai stuff. And it's just uh, built up on this pedestal. So this probably used to be like a, like a wee hand or something like that, and they've converted it into this little open shrine. There's the uh, crematorium, and the monk quarters are back behind there. There's another monk quarter over here. This is the uh, Vahara that has the uh, reclining Buddha in it. This is the last thing that I want to look at over here, so we'll take a look at it. They have a Little shrine here has a, a Buddha underneath the little building. Looks like there was two Buddhas at one time and one of them has been destroyed. There's just his feet left and then a couple others. And they're saying, Wat Bam Yang Ayutthaya here on this sign. The Thai is the pronunciation changes and so the spelling does also. So it's always hard to find like the name of, you know, some, some of these places. So this is the little Vahara that this uh, reclining Buddha is in. And we got a monk over here, he's sweeping up some stuff. We got a little statue there. Now this is the middle Ayutthaya style also. And it does look like another reclining Buddha that I've seen over towards uh, Utang. And I'll maybe put a picture of that one in here. So this is just underneath this little building and you can see how the Thai people have came over and put the uh, the gold leaf and stuff on it 
And as always with these old IUTIA style buildings, you can see this one has the red, is that the way they constructed them, you know, with the brick, the brick columns and everything, is it makes it hard to see the whole reclining Buddha. So you can see the, like the top knot and, uh, and everything. This is a really cool little uh, statue. So the ties will come over and they'll make merit and they'll stick the gold leaf and stuff on them. And you can see it has like a little walkway here. And here's where they'll pray. They'll burn the Joe sticks and uh, the oil. And they'll make little donations and stuff. And so after, uh, after the fall of Ayutthaya, this temple was abandoned and this reclining Buddha was in pretty bad shape. But King Chula Longkorn came over and uh, restored this whole temple. And he did quite a few temples in this area. The, the best one is probably the one on the island that has the murals. That has some really famous images of uh, King Narai. So here's the feet, and then you can see the backside of this reclining Buddha. And he's uh, wearing the robe, and you can see the, the rolls of the hair and the top knot and all of that. Yeah, this is really a nice building. little building. So you have the standing traveling Buddha there, and then you can see the little Vahara where this is at. And it's really cool. I like how it's built. It just kind of has like these little windows that you can look right in and see the reclining Buddha itself. And one more little part of this temple. This is a modern construction right here, but it could be on the base of one of the old buildings. Whenever they excavated over here, they could have found like a Weehan or something like that. And then they uh, could have built this building because these do have some of the, like the brick columns. And then this is the, uh, the Buddha here in it. And it's just kind of a glass building. They have curtains and then they have like a brick wall around it like this. So this very well have, could have been on the footprint of, you know, like the wee hand, and they built it. This is nice. This is a place here for the monks to come and have ceremonies also, and the people will also come over here. You can see how it's built with all the glass and then the little brick around it. Yeah, it's a nice little building. All right, guys, so that finishes up a pretty quick little video over here at Wat Panon Yong. Yeah, there's a lot of stories about this, about, you know, the wet nurse, and when it was built is kind of up in the air. Nobody really knows, because like most things over here in Ayutthaya, when the Burmese sacked the city, they destroyed everything. And uh, most everything was like oral tradition and any uh, written records were burned or whatever during the fall, because they burned like 10,000 buildings whenever Ayutthaya was being sacked. Plus they took away anything of value. So if there was uh, any gold or whatever, they took it and it went back to places like Bagan in uh, Burma. And uh, with most things over here, you know, the history of it is gone because of, you know, the building materials. You know, here in Thailand, they used wood for, you know, the houses and all the buildings. The only thing that was really made out of brick was these temples. So the history goes through all of these temples for this region. And stuff like this to me is really interesting. I really like seeing, you know, especially these old temple buildings and just kind of thinking about how old they are. I mean, this is, you know, from the, 1650s to 1680s or something like that. It's just tremendously old for uh, me as an American. And I like uh, seeing stuff like this. And uh, hopefully you guys do. If you, uh, if you like stuff like this, you can read a little bit more. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in the description of the video. And uh, you know, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If you like seeing these old buildings like this, you know, tell me. If you want me to do something different, if you would rather me go to a market or whatever, tell me that also. And uh, subscribe if you're new to my channel. This is what I do. I just go show you stuff. I'm not showing you stuff that most everybody is showing you. I see uh, I go out and I kind of explore the area. So I show you things that are a little bit different. So hopefully you like that. If you do, uh, stick around, subscribe, and uh, share it with your friends if you would like. And until next time, guys, from over here in IUTA, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.